Wednesday. Today it snowed for the first time this winter, and school was cancelled. We were supposed to have a test in pre-algebra, and I've kind of slacked off ever since I became a safety patrol. So I was psyched. I called Rowley and told him to come over. Me and him have been talking about building the world's biggest snowman for the past couple of years now. And when I say the world's biggest snowman, I'm not kidding. Our goal is to get into the Guinness Book of World Records. But every time we've gotten serious about going for the record, all the snow has melted, and we've missed our window of opportunity. So this year, I wanted to get started right away. When Rowley came over, we started rolling the first snowball to make the base. I figured the base was going to have to be at least 8 feet tall on its own if we wanted to have a shot at breaking the record. But the snowball got real heavy, and we had to take a bunch of breaks in between rolls so we could catch our breath. During one of our breaks, Mom came outside to go to the grocery store, but our snowball was blocking her car in. So we got a little free labor out of her. After our break, me and Rowley pushed that snowball until we couldn't push it any farther. But when we looked behind us, we saw the mess we had made. The snowball had gotten so heavy that it tore up all the sod Dad had just laid down this fall. I was hoping it would snow a few more inches and cover up our tracks, but just like that, it stopped snowing. Our plan to build the world's biggest snowman was starting to fall apart. So I came up with a better idea for our snowball. Every time it snows, the kids from Worley Street use our hill for sledding, even though this isn't their neighborhood. So tomorrow morning, when the Worley Street kids come marching up our hill, me and Rowley are going to teach those guys a lesson.